What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out nine superstars most responsible for WWE's new boom period. Now, right now, WWE they are having a resurgence of popularity. Uh, people are coming to the shows in droves. They're selling out uh, weekly shows every single week. They're selling out house shows right now. WrestleMania, the hype for WrestleMania is pretty pretty big right now and there's there's some people um on monday night raw and smackdown that are truly bringing in that extra hype man so we're gonna see what woke coach uh, what culture has to uh to say on who's bringing in the extra hype wrestler wise on both shows and uh how they're bringing in that extra attention um but it should be a very interesting one to see what woke, uh who woke, uh what culture chooses Appreciate all love support you guys shown on the channel. Let's get right in, into this one, man. WWE is doing great right now, and it rules. Look, if you want to be one of these negative Nancys that's all like, oh, I don't think wrestling is the worst thing ever, more power to you. But I'm having a great time. So is the world of sports entertainment. As ever, when we do get to a successful period, usually it's because a bunch of individuals have become stars. And at the moment in World Wrestling Entertainment, of course we can talk about Roman Reigns, and we will do, but there's a bunch of other dudes and girls yeah. that really need a shout out to. So let's be lovely to these heroes, and I'm Simon for What Culture. Thank you very much for joining as always. Hit that subscribe button, and here's WWE Superstars responsible for the boom. But nine, Drew McIntyre. I mean, he what deserves to be on this list. He had in his WWE career. I mean, he came in in the 2010s and everyone was like, oh my gosh, he's a second coming. He is going to be the WWE champion. When he got fired, reinvented himself, returned, and the flabbing guy became the WWE champion. I mean, WWE were also so happy to have him back. He barely spent any time in NXT mm -mm. when we got to the 2020 Raw Rumble and he knocked Brock Lesnar over the top rope well, just go listen to the reaction. The Scottish warrior was over. Don't forget yeah. that people were pleading for this at the time as well. And this, very sadly, the pandemic then came. Yeah. And even though he did beat the beast at WrestleMania, it was in a warehouse and he had to be victorious to absolutely no noise. Yeah. It's not fun. The thing is, though, from this point on, WWE had to go through those horrible waters. And who was front and center making sure we did want to tune in? It was damn Drew McIntyre. Uh -huh. So without that, would the company be where it is now? Arguably no. That's why he's in this list. And sure, ever since people have come back to arenas, you can kind of argue that McIntyre's creative has been a little bit hit and miss. But mm -hmm. he still comes across like a bona fide main eventer. He still had that terrific match with Gunther and Sheamus at WrestleMania. So once again, he gets a massive tick. Don't sleep on Drew. Remember, and uh, Drew is, he's, he's killing it, bro. He's doing some of his best work. I'm I'm being so dead serious. Honestly, I, I love Seth, but Seth got to drop the title. He has to. If they do not have Seth drop the title, they have literally wasted Drew for these past few months. Because now Drew has gotten you to want to see Drew versus CM Punk, bro. He's carrying that. He has gotten you to want to see that match of all the shit talking he's been doing. He is fantastic. And everything that he says, even though he has some hypocritical moments, a lot of stuff that he says, it, it's, it's, it has some truth to it. It's fucking fantastic. I love what he's doing. He has to win at this year's WrestleMania. The crowd's going to cheer him. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I'm going to let y'all know. For the most part, the crowd is going to, he's going to get the moment that he, he, he deserved so many years ago during the pandemic, man. Can't wait to see it. He's definitely one of the great reasons why WWE is booming right now. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So Both of them. I think when all is said and done, we're going to look at Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and mutter to ourselves, well, they were some of the best wrestlers ever. I mean, genuinely, what can't they do and what haven't they done? I mean, even when their WWE contracts were up, the internet was like, oh my gosh, they have to go to AEW. But they re-signed mm -mm. and look at the fallout of this. Kevin Owens has now main evented two WrestleManias yeah. Sami Zayn became one of the most popular wrestlers in the entire company. But that's yeah. where the argument ends because them sticking with WWE was absolutely the right choice. Facts. And management knows this as well. I bet they look at both guys and be like, we can put them anywhere on the card and they're going to make that match. They're going to make that feud. They're going to make that program and they're going to make that promo better. Let's not pretend they didn't help the Bloodline story either because they mm -hmm. were a huge part of it. And while this does sound like Silly Billy stuff, I really hope we do get to one mania and we do KO versus Sammy for a world championship. 
Now that would just make me feel warm and fuzzy in my tum tum. Now I, I hope we do get that. Maybe, uh, maybe sometime this year, Sammy can become the world heavyweight champion or something like that, and maybe we do get a Kevin Kevin Owens versus Sammy Zayn feud. I'm all for it. I'm all fucking for it, bro. They they're fucking fantastic. Even though they're on separate brands, they're still in some good matches. KO with uh with um Logan Paul. It's fucking great what they're doing together. Now he's gonna be in that triple threat match at WrestleMania. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Sami Zayn, Gunther. I know people wanted Chad. And I was one of those people that would have been okay if Chad wanted to face Gunther, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Sammy versus Gunther is going to eat. They give them time, it's gonna eat. It's going to be great. It may be match of the night. Dead ass. I'm not even lying to you. It may end up being match of the night for whichever night it's on. It may be match of the weekend. I'm being dead serious. That's how good Gunther is, and that's how great Sammy is too. They're both great. Gunther is just, he's he's he's, he's on a whole nother stratosphere. They're both fantastic. Number seven. <laughs> he deserves to be on this list too. So I mean it. Sit down, otherwise you're gonna lose it. But when the time comes, if we play our cards right, and we can take all this momentum Dominic Mysterio has, you could switch him babyface, and I think there's a good chance he could explode. Not literally. Because we have seen this happen time and time again. You go heel, you earn your stripes, everybody starts to like you. When you can flip on a dime, you just fly off into the sky. I mean, this dude has totally found himself as the ex-condom and his relationship with Rhea Ripley is absolutely fabu. Mm -hmm. And he does keep getting better in the ring. So I think his evolution has just been perfect. And don't forget, he is a Mysterio and they just have good wrestling, I don't know, power in their genes. So all we have to do here is be patient and figure it out. Also, go look at his social media numbers. That is absolutely helping WWE, mm -hmm. which is why He's a part of the boom. Number and and I, I will say this right now. It's going to be a while before they can turn it. It has to be a situation. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some. It's going to take something. It'll have to be a situation where he helps his dad. That's the only way that happens. And he'd have to be away from Judgment Day. But right now, it, he the man got booed at his own wedding. <laughs> they They struck gold. They struck, once he turned heel, they struck gold. Anytime he's out there, they're going to boo this man. And that, bro, he still has nuclear heel heat in the best possible way. They they got something with him. Number six, Roman Reigns. Obviously. Now, look, Roman Reigns should obviously be number one, but that's boring when we get to lists like this. I want to keep you on your tootsie toes. But of course, Roman has become the guy that WWE always wanted him to become. Mm -hmm. And he is a mega superstar, legendary figure. And he's going to go down in the history books. Now, yeah. you can't pretend otherwise, but the statistics will prove you wrong. Because merchandise is up, house shows are up, gates are up, ratings are up. And anytime somebody says, oh, by the way, the head of the table is going to be in involved, they increase even further. Yeah. So he has just totally smashed it. Also, if you do look at that bloodline angle, it does not work without our tribal chief. Yeah. But also, he has hit a massive chord with younger viewers, which is why more of them are tuning in. They want to see what Roman is going to do. And dare I say it, they probably think he's pretty cool. And he's handsome. So WWE were, right? It just took them a little while to figure it out. And for those in the back that may not be listening, no. WWE is not in the position it's in right now without Roman Reigns. Yeah. The fact is the fact that I'm bringing you the facts. Long live Roman. I acknowledge him. But fine. And it's one of those things where it's crazy that there's so many people on social media that want Roman to retain. Think about that. If you go on social media right now, there is a lot, a lot of people that want Roman to retain. I know some of y'all in the comments, y'all want Roman to retain. Y'all want him to keep the championship. Y'all do. Some of y'all are trolling. Some of y'all are dead serious. We are <laughs> Think about that. When Vince was around and was booking Roman as the big dog, no one wanted to see him as champion. Now everybody wants to see him. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people still want to see him as champion. That's how far we've come. He he carried WWE on it on his back, especially on SmackDown during the pandemic era. Him and Drew, but he was carrying, and he's been carrying. Now, granted, you don't see him as much, but when you do see him, it's something to talk about. And now we're on the verge at one point coming coming soon. 
maybe at next year's WrestleMania or sooner, The Rock versus Roman, that's literally going to be the biggest match that WWE could produce, bro. I'm being so dead serious. It's going to be the biggest match they pr produce. We won't. We haven't seen something that big and monty, monumental since like The Rock and Stone Cold type shit, bro. It, it's going to be that insane. I can't wait to see it. The one thing that the WWE he deserves to be on this list too, ages, and you already know this, is credibility yep. when it comes to the mid card titles. Now it's so important to do this because one, you can balance out a show using them, but also two, you can look at a wrestler and say, well, we need to get him to the main event. What can we do? Well, we can give him one of these brand new credible mid card titles. You see how this works. I mean, we have seen the opposite approach to this and it's pointless, which is where Gunther does get involved because ever since he won the Intercontinental Championship, Cooking. he has brought all the prestige back to it to the point he actually beat the Honky Tonk Man's record and that's been going for ages. I mean, the former Walter has been so damn good that people are like, oh my gosh, he's having the best matches that we've seen in WWE in years. And then from nowhere, someone just decided, actually, I think Gunther should beat Roman Reigns tomorrow. I don't think many people would complain. Nobody would complain, We've done a great bro. job with it. This is why it is mad that when Vince McMahon first called him up, he didn't get him and he was going to send him back to NXT. And I'm sorry, this is the reason we came up with that phrase, because two plus two equals potato. That don't make no sense. He also brings a different style to the ring, mm -hmm. which has also reeled in many other fans. So seriously, go back through the last 18 months or so, he has been damn pivotal to the product number four. Facts, bro. He's, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I know the World Heavyweight Championship is most, most likely in his sights because they don't want to do heel versus heel. But if they were to do heel versus heel, he has a group. Roman has a group. Bruh. In my opinion... He would be the only one left. <laughs> it would be Gunther. And that's it. Or The Rock. If Cody doesn't do it this year, it's Gunther or The Rock. Those are the last two people, bro. I know people would say Bobby Lashley. No. He, you, as soon as you put him in that match, we know he's not winning. But at least with Gunther, you can put him in that. The Rock is different. We we already know. he It would... They could people would buy into him beating Roman because he's the fucking rock. But Gunther, Gunther versus Roman both have these legendary undefeated streaks, legendary title reigns. There's and you could, bro, the story you build off that. And honestly, if you're gonna make another fucking mega ultra star, if it's not Cody. And it's not The Rock. I'm being dead ass. I don't think anyone else would trip if I said Gunther beating beating Roman. Because you would believe it. And it would make sense. They're both heels. So you really don't want to do a heel versus heel. But I think people would... At that point, people wouldn't care. Because we know we, we would get a, a fucking masterpiece. So I don't know. I don't know, man. That, that shit does sound cool. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> or Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley. She deserves to be here too. Written all over her. Facts. I mean, not literally. That would actually ruin the presentation. I mean, she is so impactful in WWE at the moment. We even mentioned her in somebody else's entry. So she's basically appearing twice on this damn thing. That proves my point. He also had that incredible WrestleMania match against Charlotte Flair and has been a huge reason why the Judgment Day has yeah. become one of those popular groups in the entire company. She also is just so damn legit. And when she's on the screen, you're like, yeah, she could kick everybody's ass. She is currently the women's world champion too. And I would keep that belt on her for well over 500 days. And have you seen the kind of numbers she is doing on TikTok? I yeah. do believe she is the most popular WWE superstar. Yeah. And do you know how that ties in? People will watch her on social media, then they tune into the show. Yeah. It's booming. So her stock is just going to continue to rise. And she's only 26 years old. This is going to become ridiculous. Number yeah, three. No, she, she, she's mega over, bro. That's why I don't think she's losing at WrestleMania. She shouldn't lose at WrestleMania. I love Becky, but no. She's that over. Has her title reign been good? Uh, not really. She hasn't really faced any credible people. And the matches have been kind of eh, okay at best. Her best match to date is still Charlotte Flair. 
But right now, yeah, she's over, bro. That's how over she is. She doesn't even have to have many credible opponents, and she's still that over. That's how over she is, bro. And she's another reason why there's been a, a resurgence in WWE. He's naming the right people on this list. Free Cody Rhodes. Are you into to be here too, man. Awesome, because you're going to love this. Because if you do go mega nerd and research all of this, as soon as Cody decided I'm going to leave AEW and go back to WWE, numbers just skyrocketed. Yeah. I mean, the man absolutely did it. I mean, be it all elite wrestling fans or just Cody supporters, they all tuned into WrestleMania 38 to watch his big return. Uh -huh. And then they sat in their couches and went, actually, I'm going to hang around. And they have. I mean, it's absolutely hilarious to look back on this now too, because so many people are like, oh, he's just going to become Stardust again. And even if they did that tomorrow, I actually don't think it would matter because the American Nightmare has landed his mark. I mean, we've essentially turned him into the brand new John Cena, but this yeah. time it's absolutely working. And much like Roman, he just increases house show numbers, he increases ratings, and he's selling merchandise mm -hmm. like it's damn cheap. If you see those prices, it ain't cheap. We're absolutely tied into the upswing for WWE as the company did grow. And I would love to see an alternative version where Cody doesn't make that jump because I actually think you would see the difference. And look, eventually he is going to be the world champion. And I think this will go higher still. Man is a damn hero and an inspiration. Number two. Yeah, yeah, bro. He's over too. Whether you like him or not, he's over. I, social media may not feel the same but when they're at these shows when they're at these house shows when they're live he's over people love him wwe has a lot of stars right now and he's at the top he is i guess you could say a newer version of john cena now he wwe has found their john cena they've been looking for it they actually found it Roman's in a different stratosphere. He's in, he's on another level. He's he he's past that John Cena stage, but Cody, he's there. They found it, and it's working out for him. To the Usos. So I don't think anybody predicted this. I mean, Jimmy and Jay Uso have always been a phenomenal tag team. That was mm -hmm. obvious since <laughs> day one. That was not meant to be a pun. But thanks to this bloodline angle, they have become so important to WWE. Yeah. And proven, hey, if you want us to be single stars. We can do that too. I mean, it's been one of the best parts of the Bloodline angle because so many people have got momentum coming out the other side. I mean, you've yeah. got Sola Sokoa, you've got the Usos that we're talking about right now. We could do this all day. So when all this is done, the Usos can ride the wave as well. And look, once again, if you just look at social media, people love talking about these guys. Mm -hmm. They have plugged themselves in. They have become huge successes. Number Max. one, LA Knight. Wow. So I don't care what anybody says, this man has helped no end too. And it's not really anything to do with WWE because LA got himself over organically and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden was selling t-shirts like crazy. Apparently, he was the number one seller and this is a company with the likes of Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. Night yep. is flying high. And sure, yes, he's a little bit like Stone Cold and he's a little bit like The Rock, but who cares about that? Wrestling is all about borrowing from ideas that have come before you. Facts. And if you want to take from two of the biggest dudes ever, well, that just sounds really smart. He has now become such a highlight that people look forward to his entrance because they want to cheer. And never forget that is so important when it comes to wrestling. I mean, mm -hmm. we mentioned Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was the same with him. Look at someone like Daniel Bryan. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to continue this because I'll run out of videotape, which is not a thing. But if we treat this right, I tell you, we can take all the momentum we currently have and we can keep it going. Nine social media numbers, especially YouTube, are just crazy as well. I'm going to stand here with my stupid bald head and I'm going to keep everything crossed that we do right by this man. Please. Because if we do, well, happy days are ahead. Don't let me sign for what... Please do, man. Get him. He needs to have a, a championship this year, too. And now I know some people saying, oh, the, the, the hype has died down uh, to an extent because there's other stuff going on. But he still gets a very big pop whenever he comes out. Don't get it twisted. We got The Rock and Roman and Cody and Seth and everything else. Guess what? When he comes out there, he still gets a very huge reaction. People still care to see what LA Knight ha has to say. People be thinking, oh, you got to have the loudest reaction, you know, all the time. No, I mean, he's going up against The Rock. He's going up against this great 
storyline that they're telling with the bloodline and stuff like that so of course a lot of people are hyped and focused a little bit more on that but anytime he steps out there he gets a huge reaction we're living in a period if you guys remember the attitude era that era where there were so many stars so many people that you could plug and play and put into the main event if you wanted to there were so many stars they had so many stars that you could actually when they when their music hit people cared and we're back there now even in the ruthless aggression era it, it started there it started to die down there was you know it wasn't as many in my opinion that just you know got that reaction but there was a lot of great wrestlers you know that people cared about i'm talking about people losing their shit when you hear their music we've gotten back to that era where you can plug and play you can put him in a main event la knight was in the main event at one point getting huge reactions cody you know seth you know rhea ripley all these other people you put the fucking jay uso like you can put these guys in main event situations and they still rise people don't just all of all of a sudden don't care about them and i like that period of wrestling we're in in wwe we got something good here this reminds me of the attitude era for sure of just the amount of stars we actually have that people care about on both raw and smackdown and then the future potential stars we're gonna get coming up through nxt so comment down below let me know some other wrestlers if they weren't list, uh, listed on this video that y'all feel like are uh, part of wwe's new boom period but i appreciate all love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speed to youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see you on the next one peace